Hi, I'm Leonard Mann. I was born in the Philippines and my father and mother are both Filipino citizens. But why is my surname Mann? In this video, I will be revealing the origin of my surname. Indeed, it is very unusual because it does not sound Filipino at all, right? If you want to know the interesting story behind my family name, please watch till the end of this video. Whenever I meet someone for the first time, that person would almost always ask me these three questions. 1. Why is your surname Man? 2. Are you a foreigner? And 3. Do you have any foreign blood or lineage? To be candid, even some of my close friends don't know the answer to the first question. There is no problem with the second and third questions because all of my friends know that I am not a foreigner. They also know that I was born in Lawag City, Ilocos Norte, and that both of my parents are Filipino. So we go back to the first question. Why is my surname Man? In order to answer this, we have to go back in time, around 78 years ago. Sometime in 1943, my father's mother, the late Federica Mustajo Man, was widowed after giving birth to her firstborn child. Shortly thereafter, she remarried a Chinese national from Guangzhou, China. His name was Taachi Man. Both of my paternal grandparents had already passed away. Taachi and Federica were blessed with four sons and one daughter, namely Eduardo, Armando, Rogelio, Antonio, and Rosita. My father's name is Mario. See the connection or disconnection? Yes, my father is the firstborn child of Federica with her former husband, Macario. In other words, my father is just a half-brother of my uncles and aunt. Interestingly, the first Chinese character in my grandfather's gravestone is pronounced as Man, his surname. In addition, the original spelling of our family name was M-A-N, with a single N. So, how did it become M-A-N-N, with a double N? And I will reveal our true family name in a little while, so please keep watching. And you may want to subscribe to my channel now and click the bell icon below so that you will be notified whenever I upload new videos. Thank you. Going back to our story, I will now narrate the evolution of our surname, Man. As I said earlier, the original spelling of our family name was M-A-N with a single N. So, how did it become M-A-N-N? with a double N. When my father began studying, he used the surname Man because his mother and stepfather did not want him to feel that he is not part of the family. But since the family was then living in San Fernando La Union, which is part of the Ilocos region, my father's classmates would tease him Lakai. It is an Ilocano term which means old man. My father was really pissed off with the name calling, so he devised a way to avoid being called Lakai. Can you guess what he did? That's right, he added another N to his surname. And that, my friends, was the start of our family name, Man. All of my father's official records bear the surname Man. When he married my mother, on June 28, 1966, he used the name Mario Mostajo Man in their marriage certificate. So, when my siblings and I were born, the same surname was entered in our birth certificates 
and baptismal certificates. This brings us to the burning question. What is our real family name? According to my father, our true surname is Remirata. So there it is, friends. That's the story behind my family name. Legally, I can change my surname if I want to and instead use our true family name. However, I have to file a petition in court, which admittedly is costly and burdensome. And if the petition will be granted by the court, I will have to change all of my official records as a consequence. And there will be no sense calling this channel man's world. It has to be Remirata's word or Leonard's word, and it doesn't sound good, right? To digress a bit, I think it is human nature to be curious of our past, our origins. We all have the innate desire to know our roots. We want to belong to a community, to a certain unit of society, to a family. Unfortunately for me, my search for my roots ended with my grandfather. I cannot go farther than that. I do not know who my great-grandfather was. There are no available records, let alone living persons, who can provide me with reliable data. At any rate, for me, what is important is the present and future generations. My father used to tell me that the fact that we are using man instead of remirata is insignificant. I may not be a son of man, but what matters is the blood that runs in our veins, the very same blood that unites us as a family, the same blood that was passed to us by my grandfather, Macario Remirata. May his soul rest in peace. It is my constant prayer to God that He will continue our bloodline and bless the succeeding generations of man's. Anyway, just for fun, I want to get your opinion. If you were to choose, which do you think is a better family name, Man or Remirata? I would love to know your thoughts, so please write your choice and your reason in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed watching this video, kindly like and subscribe to my channel. You may want to click the bell icon too so that you will be notified whenever I upload new videos. Please feel free to share this to your friends. Thank you, keep safe, and Godspeed everyone! Lights, camera. To be candid, even some of my close friends don't know the answer to my. To be candid, even some of my close friends don't know the answer to the first question. And I will reveal our two family members. Please click the bell icon. You have to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload new videos. And I will reveal our true family name in a little while. So please... And I will reveal our true family name in a little while. So please keep watching. If you want to know what is going on, Going back to my story, the original pronunciation of our family name was original spelling. Going back to our story, when my father began studying, he used the surname Man because her mother and stepfather did not want. They also know that I was born in Ilocos. They also know that I was born in Lawag City, Ilocos Norte, and that both of my parents are Filipino. 
and if the and if the court will eventually it has to be either my there are no available records let alone living persons who can provide me with reliable there are no available records let alone living persons who can provide me with reliable data I will have to change all of my official records as a consequence. I did not know who my great father. It is my constant prayer that God will continue to bless. It is my constant prayer to God that He will continue our bloodline and bless the succeeding generations of man. I want to get your opinion. If you were to choose, which do you think? If you were to choose, I know. I want to know your thoughts. I would love to know. I would love to know your thoughts. So please write your thoughts and yours in the comment section. And if you enjoy. You may want to click the bell icon too so that you may be notified. You may want to click the bell icon too so that you will be notified whenever I upload new videos. Please feel free to share this to your friends. Remirata 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 Thank you. Thank you. Keep safe. Godspeed. Godspeed, everyone.